Hello and welcome to my short BYOB tutorial on building your own blocks. We're going to be looking at building command reporter block. That's a command block in this video. Now, command blocks you can build in Scratch 2, but you can't do it in Scratch 1.4. You can also do some other things in BYOB, but we won't get to those in this video. We've got our little man here, and what I want to make him do is jump. So I'm going to say when the space key is pressed, and I'm going to go to motion, and I'm going to tell him to jump, and I'm going to do that by changing Y by 10, and then we're going to wait a short little amount of time, 0.1, and then I'm going to change Y back again to minus 10. So it adds 10 onto his Y and then it comes back again. So now when I press space, you can see our man does a little jump here. Very nice. Now, of course he doesn't jump very smoothly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to instead do it as a for loop so it's this repeat block here it's not called for but in most programming languages it is and I'm going to change Y by 3 wait a little at the top so we can see it and then change Y by minus 3 but I'm going to do it 10 times each and that way when we press space we've got a nice even smooth jump now, we might want lots of different characters to jump or different things to happen. So, we could copy this code around by duplicating it like this. But actually, that's kind of inefficient. What we want to do is to be able to reuse this in this project, but also in other projects. So, I'm going to click on the variables button here. And I'm going to make my own block. It's going to be a motion block. It's going to be a command block. The reporter and the predicate are the things that you can't do in Scratch 2. But we're going to have a look at those in another video, as I mentioned earlier. I'm going to call my command jump. I've clicked on motion, so that's where it will appear. And I can just rip this off and stick it in there like that. OK. And now, what I can do is I can say jump. I can also use it with other commands. So if I instead say when the up arrow key is pressed, I can also come down in motion yeah. underneath this line here and say jump. So now up arrow jumps and space jumps. I don't have to duplicate the code in the same way. There's one more thing that's really important about this. If I come into this and edit it, as well as just having a block that does something, you can add a thing called an argument. This means we can pass a value. I'm going to click on the plus here, and we are going to have an argument, which is the height of the jump. And I'm going to click on this arrow here to make sure that we can only have a number. OK. There we are. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this 3 with height here. And then we've got minus 3 here, so I'm going to say 0 minus height. So if height is 3, height will become minus 3 here. And say OK. So now, I can change the parameter so that when I press space, he jumps 3. And when I press up arrow, he jumps 10. 3, 10. So we're starting to reuse our code in a more effective way. Have a look at your programs in BYOB and see what would be good to put inside your own command blocks.